Hey, so uh, that first batch of dough that I made last night, I put it outside. It was so warm. So I was able to put it outside and bake it. Now, we're baking at 475. We've been in, um, we're getting a time down now. So this loaf is now taking us uh, 25 minutes to make. And I'm going to be pulling it out in just a second. There it is. Ready to come out. So here it is. There's our loaf of bread. Our sourdough. Let me see. I need a... We're going to grab a towel real quick. I want you guys to be able to see it. I hope you can see that. Let's turn the timer off. There you go. Okay, so... What you want to do is you want to grab it with a towel. Whoa! And you're going to kind of dust it off. Take the flour off of it. And there's the bottom. It's all cooked. Alright. So that's it right there, right? So what we're going to do is um, get the other one now, and we're going to put that one in the oven. So what we I've come to the conclusion it's about 25 minutes. So for it to maintain its form, you I kind of shaped it this way, if you could see that. Let me see if you guys can see that better. Hold on one second. So I kind of shaped it that way, and I put a little flour on the pan, on the paddle. And what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this right to the paddle. We've got our piece. Help you guys out. All right, so we got our first piece there. There's our, and we're gonna put the next one in. So, we learned today, it was uh, 25 minutes to bake that sourdough. So it took 25 minutes to bake the sourdough at 475. So now the only thing I gotta do now is set the timer. I'll set the timer at 25 minutes. And we know now at 475, 25 minutes, I'll cook the sourdough completely. So the recipe is, uh, it's up on YouTube already. It's Cooking with Cousin Paulie. Uh, you guys can check it out. Uh, again, here's the bread. So you can see it. It's hot. But you can see the bottom. It's nice. It's crispy. It's a really nice piece of bread. So what we're gonna do is, uh, as uh, as I keep practicing this and making it, we're gonna make it better as time goes on. So I'm thinking on the next batch that we have, and I have the other batch. So so the reason why I was able to bake it now is because I put it outside in the heat. So I have the other batch; it's already growing pretty good. Take give it a look. And what I'm gonna do tomorrow is. Um, I'm gonna put it into one in my one of these containers here. And we're gonna to try to form it in here and try to trap it. So that way it'll trap the heat and maybe lock it and keep the form. So we're gonna see how it comes out. But uh this bread we've already we know what it tastes like, and it tastes so similar to Italy. Let's uh well, I'm gonna cut a piece. Let's cut a piece together. Hold on one second. Mind you, this is really hot. So I'm just gonna cut a piece right here. I'm gonna cut it right down. Oh yeah, there it is. So, I'm thinking, 
There it is. We could probably go maybe an extra, I'm thinking maybe an extra couple minutes. Maybe we're gonna go like uh, 27, 27 minutes, I think. Two extra minutes, I think I'll do the trick. So let's try, we're gonna try 27 minutes at 475. Again, this is trial and error, but there's the bread inside. You can see it. It's got the air pockets. You can hear it, right? It's nice and crispy. You can see it. It's very crispy. So hot. It's steaming hot. You see the smoke? All right, let's try it. Same flavor. We got the taste down to a science now. The taste is right. So, if you follow the instructions to make that sourdough, you're going to have bread that tastes just like if you were in Italy. And we're just going to get this baked down. I think uh, 27 minutes at 475 is probably where we want to bake. So, I think this is what we need to be at. This is uh, perfect. You're getting a sourdough bread that is extraordinarily good. Um, it tastes like Southern Italy all the way. Uh, you'll notice if you go to Italy, um, the further north you go, like in like Florence area and stuff like that, the breads are a lot less salty. They, they sometimes, I'll be honest with you, some of the bread I've had in Florence was really, I, I said to the guy, I said, you guys, did you guys forget to put the salt in it? Like it's that very little amount of salt. But in the south, like if you're in Naples and, and below, uh, the bread is extraordinary. It's one of the best things that you can have is uh, the bread. And this is really good. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Um, uh, if you go on YouTube, go to, my, uh, go to Cooking with Cousin Polly. And you'll be able to see the whole video. Um, I'm also going to put up the cooking of the bread. So this one's in here for about 27 minutes. I doubt everybody wants to hang out for the next 27 minutes. But uh, I, don't want to eat. I don't want to talk with my mouth full. But, um, but it, I, I think this is a, a really great great avenue you're going to really enjoy it the sourdough is extraordinary so again thanks for watching um you can catch the rest of the videos uh on uh, the youtube channel and just hit a like maybe a subscribe to it and um i hope uh hope everything's good with everybody this weekend have a fun weekend everybody take care oh and tomorrow tomorrow i will i'll, I'll put up a video of uh when i take the next piece out of the oven we're gonna try it with a tray I got these trays here. I should fit somewhere around there. And I'm just going to just see if it holds in the heat. I'll try I'll try it with the tray tomorrow. If that works better, hey, it works better. And uh, we'll try it out tomorrow morning. But uh, everybody have a great weekend. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Oh, and this video will be up on YouTube as well. All right, take care. Bye-bye.